plans alone sparking a whole lot of controversy. And now court action in the case of the proposed mosque near Ground Zero. This after a 9-11 first responder asked a judge to stop this plan in its tracks. Today there is a hearing on the matter. Eric Sean is live from the New York State Supreme Court, which is the trial court here in New York. Eric? Yeah, Megan, it's a last chance to try and stop the so-called Ground Zero Mosque. Opponents were in court, the one behind me this morning, arguing that the building in which the mosque would be located should have been declared an official New York City landmark. That would mean that the building and the mosque could not go forward. The Landmarks Preservation Committee, though, did not declare it a landmark. The building is 152 years old, even though other buildings that are in the neighborhood were declared landmarks. This one was not. Supporters of the project, though, say the building has no historic significance. Former firefighter and 9-11 survivor Tim Brown, along with the conservative American Center for Law and Justice, say the mosque should not be built. These particular people, uh, I think, are un-American. And I think that their claim that they are sensitive bridge builders is, is a lie as demonstrated by insisting to build the, in this particular spot. This isn't about the historic building. This isn't about ground zero. It's about hatred of Muslims. And if they're gonna hate Muslims today, then who are they gonna hate tomorrow? Well, the decision is expected in about a month. Meanwhile, there seems to be little progress over at the building site. Megan? All right, Eric Sean, thank you.